this year is the first inaugural year of the uh, the program and uh, the camp, sorry, and uh, hopefully uh, this is going to grow into be a bigger thing as well. And uh, just know, just seeing the faces on these kids and what they're going through at the moment, it's a life-changing experience. And hopefully this is the first of many, and uh, kids will appreciate it. And then these kids will then be the the leaders of their uh, cultures. And next thing we know, we'll find more kids playing footy in their. their in their uh, communities. And we just think the culmination of having a week-long intensive camp, not only from a football point of view, but from an inclusion point of view and education and training around high performance, uh, nutrition, um, and really exposing you know, this, the, the 25 nationalities we have in the camp here this week um, to what the pl talented player pathway actually looks like. Camps like these, they're great opportunities to you know bring all cultures together just to play the game that we love playing. And it's really great here because we come from all different countries and it doesn't matter who you are, you, everybody can play AFL. Look, our game welcomes everybody, it doesn't matter what colour, what race, what religion, um, what denomination, uh, what your background is. Uh, once you get involved in AFL football, you're equal. A lot of my mates that I have today, and probably most the majority of them are all through footy, whether playing as a, in a footy team or through work as well in, with the AFL. You know, we, we all try and find our own way. My, my uh, uh, the acceptance with me was naturally football, emotionally, and uh, the ability to express myself. Uh, football was the driving force of that. I guess I was the only one, the only Asian kid playing for my school in East Bent, or my team's footy team in East Bentley. It's a very, uh, well, now it's a very diverse area, but uh, back when I was playing, learning to play football, I was only pretty much the only Asian kid. I think they were pretty accepting, and I didn't see myself any different to anyone else. And, and for me to be able to play and be one of the, the better players in the team was uh, something that, uh, I guess, brought a more appreciation and, I guess, more attention to myself than uh, most other kids at my age pretty privileged to be a part of such an awesome experience camp to be talking to you know ex AFL players and coaches and all that it's just awesome I walked home one day and mum's like you got a letter here I sort of said oh yeah who's it from and read in the front said from AFL and I thought oh gee that's all right having a letter from the AFL and yeah it's good Uh, whether you're a player or whether you're a supporter, our game welcomes everybody. It's about as inclusive a game as you can get. Our uh, friends from school started to introduce me to come down to training and um, came down, had a go. I didn't know, I, was, I wasn't into it, but um, after a couple of goes, played, played a season of under 14s. I think socially um, the interaction is just so important. I think, you know, the, the thing that will come out of this is the kids will make new friends and we're always looking at uh, other ways of, of uh, being able to interact. Oh, it's just to be more involved in the community, sort of make more friends and um, sort of fit into the Australian way of life because some, um, some refugees that come to Australia, it's kind of hard for them to, to fit in. I think the fundamental opportunity is, is first of all to feel really a, a part of the community that you're living in and that you know, this is a game, particularly in uh, southern parts of Australia, that really is embedded in the culture um, of every community and, and therefore it offers um, you know, uh, migrants and, uh, and new communities a great avenue to actually meet people and, and feel that they're um, part of the great country we live in. be the first Sudanese to get drafted into the AFL. When I first started I didn't know how to kick and I didn't know how to handball so they supported me a lot and like showed me from the basic and everything and it helped me a lot. My ambition is now to become an AFL player. It all started when I was in grade six and uh, I was uh, only a young kid and I was grade five sorry and, uh, and a lot of my mates uh, played footy and I played in the uh, in the playground with them and the following year they asked me to come down and try and I was very reluctant because mum and dad obviously didn't support me uh, playing footy and therefore they uh, the family picked me up and took me to training and to games and next thing I know I'm playing representative footy winning league best and fairest and all Australians and representing Victoria and uh, yeah and traveling into state and get a job in AFL. I think you know from our point of view Beyond that, there's opportunities obviously for talented young players and we have 700 full-time jobs for players at an average show we $200,000 a year. So it's a great 
it's a great career to pursue uh, from that point of view. And we know from Basho Hooley and other players that have made their way through the pathway that they uh, really set a great example for others to follow. Just to see the look on the looks on some of the boys' faces in there, which uh, took me back a long a few years ago. It's great, you know. They've got uh, they've got dreams in their eyes and uh, aspirations, and it's a wonderful thing. So, if the camp can help these boys develop and help them uh, perhaps realise their dreams, that'd be a wonderful thing. I would probably go and help others. That like with what we've done here and try to remember as much as like they've told us, the legends. As I mentioned, the kids going back to their communities and their homes and their areas as well where they live, um, knowing that they've been involved in a camp, uh, they can take back the, the leadership skills they've learnt, um, the, the friends they've met as well and the, the actual the message of the game that it's incorporating involves uh, kids from different backgrounds or people from different nationalities and religions and uh, in colour. I think it is about you know, creating new fans of the game and, and reaching into communities that may not have um, really had the opportunity to participate in, a, in such a, uh, an inclusive sport before. I mean we really, uh, we really have a view that anywhere this game goes into any community, the community's uh, the one that benefits. So that's what you know, you'd hope, as I said, that these young men go away and, uh, and uh, take back to their communities uh, a great experience and great stories about what the game can do for them. Some of these kids are going to speak about it. It's probably one of the best experiences they've, um, they've had in a while. We're going to speak to other, student, um, other kids who have not started playing football yet and they might get them um, to play footy. Well, I think any time uh, you know, we can bring talent into our competition from different background, uh, it, it, it makes good sense for everybody. Uh, Waleed Ali um, taught us that you know, one of the things that uh, we want to do is we, we need people to be able to look at this game and see a reflection of themselves. So, you know, you'd love to see that the talent of the competition really reflects the population of Australia, wouldn't you? Ideally, I'd like to see uh, every kid who's in, all 50 kids who are involved in the camp to be drafted, but it's, uh, it's not, obviously not going to happen. But uh, there are really some really good, talented kids there, and this is just a, a step in the foot in the door for these kids and hopefully we can see these kids playing in TSC Cup, AFL, VFL, whatever, and just continuing on with the game and their development as well. It would be incredible, I mean, you know, if we could get the first African playing our game, uh, the first Chinese, um, uh, you know, the first Iraqi, it would be a great thing because history tells us that when one plays, if they're the first, others follow and that's why it's been wonderful to see Basho Hooli play recently. Um, Oh no, they, they you know they can become you know, they can easily become quick you know quick role models, which is a good thing. I want to go all the way. That's it's been a dream since I was young, and it's still a dream now. Just to really follow my dreams, and I believe in myself, and I reckon I can make it just with all the support and yeah.